camera. <laughs> well, so I called. Apparently the police chief is out today. Uh, he's teaching D.A.R.E. Uh, keeping kids away from drugs. Hey, don't laugh, man. It's a serious issue. And uh, uh, tried to set up an appointment with them, but haven't been successful doing that yet. But we've got some questions about uh, taking videographers' cameras and not getting receipts. And uh, apparently they took Carla back there and uh, chained her to a pole. And when she said the cuffs were too tight, they came back and tightened them some more. So we'll see uh, what they want to say for themselves. So what's the goal today? Just to go, I, I was going to come back when we could meet with the chief. Meg really wants to uh, talk to him, so. I want to talk to him and see if uh, talk we can't her. either get receipts for what they stole from them, because they still have stolen property and they didn't even give any sort of documentation that they have their property. So at this point, they could just walk away with it and nobody would be the wiser. So we want to figure out how to get at least documentation, maybe the cameras back and then they have Tyler's gun find out what's happening with that and um, just basically and talk to them about their treatment of people okay. just in case we you're likely to have a discussion with them world famous Ian Bernard from Free Ian Talk Freeman Live. Ian Freeman Freeman sorry That's sorry okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm old school what's your take on what's going on here well, I only heard the Pork 411s uh, last night, and it didn't sound very good. Um, people being arrested for nonviolent things, peaceful, being peaceful. So, we'll find out more, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. One of the activists, what I've been told, Meg's probably the person you want to talk to, but had a couple cameras taken. They won't give them uh, receipts for... Um, the property that was seized. Okay, I have not. I don't know anything about it. I'm, right. I wasn't there last Is night. Is the chief in? Today? He's not here. He's actually in meetings all day. So. Okay. Yeah, you have to talk to him about it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's what I so, and what, what are we doing with all the video cameras right now? Just. Um, they make it they a just point. film. <laughs> Making a point. Video cameras confiscated last night. Okay. So, I don't know anything about it, and I'll say that because I wasn't here last night. So, that's I, all I can tell you. And if you got questions person I would say to talk to is the chief. Okay, well we're going to hop inside and see if we can't figure out some information about the property. Okay, well I'm the only one here right now, so we got other guys coming in. The people that were on the case won't be here until later on tonight, so okay, well, can you... I don't know what I could tell you about it because okay, I well, wasn't here. Yeah, could you possibly talk about uh, the procedures you have for taking property from people? You're going to have to talk to the chief about that. I don't so know. you don't know what it is if you take something from someone and release them, I'm not, but don't I'm not going to go property. into it because I don't know what happened last night. I oh, wasn't well, I'm there, so... well, I'm not asking about what happened last night. No, I'm just that's, asking that's fine. I understand that. I understand that, a, but uh, we have policies and procedures that we go by, but I would talk to the chief. He can print them out and Okay, and, is and there a printout of them inside, or uh, not that I have. is there a way for so. us to figure out what the law is? Go online. You can find all the laws right online. Okay, but what if this past week I've seen six peaceful people be taken away by you guys? Yeah. Talk to the chief. That's all I'm going to tell you guys, all right? All right. Where's the chief? Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Um, so yeah, I was here and um, <clears throat> Carla was being booked and uh, I was um, trying to call Louie. Um, I didn't know if anyone had contacted him yet, so I was going through my phone and the uh, two officers came out and he repeated the uh, spiel that he had given me down the road that um, I, I was violating his privacy by filming, etc. And uh, this time, instead of, of countering, um, because I actually wasn't recording, um, I was trying to make a phone call, so I just ignored him and kept doing what I was doing. And he said, uh, he said, do you hear what I'm saying? Or do you understand what I'm saying? And I said, yeah, I understand English. And I didn't, you know, just kept doing my thing. And uh, he said, but do you understand what I said? I said, I heard what you said. And then he moved from the door to here in a, in a very threatening manner and said, get out. And I was like, but I'm here to bail someone out. He said, leave the police station right now. Uh, if you don't leave right now, we're going to arrest you for trespassing. In a police station? Uh, what? And, and he's like, yeah. And I'm like, um, okay, so I just stand outside the door. And he's like, no, off the property. He said, so uh, on the sidewalk. 
He's like, yeah, you can go on the sidewalk. So I opened this door and I stepped out. Um, this door was halfway swinging shut. I opened this door and uh, clearly I was a, a little agitated. So on my way out, I cursed, um, but I was about out here. Both doors had closed. So they were standing inside with both doors closed and I was out here walking away. I heard the first door open. I heard the second door open. By that time I was out here and I heard, stop where you are, you're under arrest. And I, I kind of kept walking and I'm like, seriously? Like for leaving? For, I'm under <laughs> arrest for, for what? And um, he, he, said, uh, he said, stop, turn around, let me see your hands or I'll taser you. And I turn around, he's got his taser out of his, out of his holster and he's, point, he's still walking towards me. And I said, really, what am I under arrest for? And he said, you can't talk, you can't talk like that. And I said, really? There's a law against profanity? What did you say? And he said, that's what I said. I said, I, I said really, there's a law against profanity? He said, he said, you can't talk like that. And um, so, I mean, we're, 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 we're way out there. And then he goes, then he goes well, well you, you didn't leave when we asked you to. I'm like, I'm in the parking lot. I'm like halfway to the sidewalk. And he said, yeah, but we had to ask you three times. Like, I was just clarifying my position, uh, you know, but I complied, I'm out, blah, 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 blah. So they arrested me and... And there you go. So the joke is, they charged me um, with wiretapping. I wasn't even recording. Hey! How are you doing, sir? Good. Um, I am recording you, though. Just so you know. Yeah, oh yeah, you guys cared last night, though, didn't you? Yeah. What's your name? Are you on that chart right there? English. He is a Brandon Montplaisir. Uh, he dealt with Lieutenant Sayre. Uh, he was here and Jim Carter was here. And fire people are here. Um, yeah. Is he fire stations or whatever? Circular file. Um, 